close. I don't mean to sound suspicious, but do we really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. Are you listening to him? He's a total wacko. I bet even he doesn't know what his game plan is. I wouldn't be so quick to write him off, Jesse. It could all be a ruse. I'm with Jesse, actually. I think he's a few rails short of a full track. Hey, Jesse. Uh, can we, um, talk? I'll just walk a little more over here. Uh, right. Uh, 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 me, me, me too. About that trip with Jack. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. To, I don't know, find myself? No, no, don't make the hurt face. Ah, I hate that face. I... I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real, hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you... that you didn't need me anymore. So you decide the best idea is to ditch me? Ugh, see... This is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. But me? I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? How, how that feels? It's okay. I know I can't expect you to have all the answers for everything. On that llama? Huh. Think she ran away again? Uh, excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Where'd she come from? This is Luna. She's kind of cute, right? We returned her to her owner, Stella. She is cute, isn't she? Everyone get away from my llama. No. Jesse, my rival. Should have known I would find you here. Hush, I'm talking. Okay. What is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella, the leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Voss, and Radar. Jacques, was it? As in, the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow. That's what. I came out to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did and put things right again. Just... wow. Pretending to be a hero again? Just like back in your treasure room? I... no! Just... I am going to fix it. <laughs> well, I believe we have it well covered, miss. We're on our way to find a mighty adversary and set things right. All right. Let's say I believe you. I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. It's my world too, after all. You'll see, I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Whoa, the, the moon 
is stuck. Okay, that's freaky. So, Stella, you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit, just to keep an eye on you. You know I'm all for trying to find my own path, but does it really have to have Stella on it? <laughs> You okay, Radar? Yes, yes, totally fine. Guys, shh, we need to keep an eye. Whoa. I'm actually kind of speechless right now. Man, and it's all ice? <laughs> Astounding, <laughs> I know. Jack, speechless. Lucas, you better write that down. Already jotted it down under rare occurrences and phenomena. Hey, come on. Rude. Hey! Found the clock! Oh, perfect. But how are we gonna get up there? Well, the admin mentioned challenges. I'm guessing there's gonna be, like, obstacles or something when we get... <laughs> Wait, do I have this right? Are you telling me that this admin is so powerful, he built all of this instantly? You sound almost jealous. Almost. Of course I'm jealous of power like that. Power is how the world is run, little man. It's what people respect, what they listen to. That's not how my world works, Stella. There are more important things than who has the most power. Huh. I wonder who he would agree with. Oh, Stella, you'll never change. I thought I recognized you. You're the quitter who used to work on my inventory management team. Wait, wait, do, do you two know each other? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I used to live in Champion City. What? I don't know what he told you to get on this little team, but I don't think he even knows how to use a sword. No, oh, you don't know anything, Stella, so zip it. Ooh. How do you put up with that little voice of his, Jesse? I know I never could. If I remember correctly, Stella, I saw a certain someone pretending to be another certain someone, and she wasn't so good with a sword either. Oh, really? You act so high and mighty, but you really are just a bully sometimes, you know that? Come on, Luna. Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. I'm not the person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed. And I can prove it. I can be different. Braver. If that's what the situation requires, I'll do it. As far as I'm concerned, Radar, you don't need to change. You can just be... you. See? And that's what makes you one million times the leader she'll ever be. Would you look at that? I haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No kidding! Oh boy, my favorite, mystery levers. Many of you there are. Lovely. But your choice of company, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this place is really for the best of the best. Not, uh, how do I say this, losers? Mr. Admin, mighty sir, I'm Stella, founder of Champion City. Maybe you've heard of me? No, never. It's actually perfect, Champion. I can see you all have dreams of greatness. It's very cute. This construct before you, it's meant to see who's worthy of that greatness. Separate the strong from the weak. So, 
We'll see how your little companions do. Hey! You watch it, Admin. Admin, I gotta ask. Sorry if it's rude, but what gives you the right to do any of this? Um, my near infinite power? I thought that was obvious. Like I said, Radar, power runs the world. Oh, come now, don't be that way. This? This is all for you! New creatures of my own design, as well as mining fatigue at every turn. Wouldn't want you cheating, of course. I don't like rule breakers. It's simple. You all want to get to that clock, but only the best of the best get to partner up with me in the future. But I mean, that could be you! Cook this place up just for you. I mean, it's pretty... Well, I was going to say pretty cool, but... With a whole ice motif, that just seems like I was going for a lame pun, so... Anyway, spectacular, though, isn't it? No? Nothing. You're the hero, stepping up to the precipice of your next great challenge, and you've got nothing to say! Can't say I care for your attitude, but that's fine. You'll figure it out soon enough. Landing. Ah, it's nothing. It's just my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory. Well, that's it then. The way is shut. Yes. Now I suppose the only way out is through. Yeah, and smashing that clock. Well, we're not all going to be smashing the clock. Say what now? You heard the admin. He only wants the best of the best. And that's going to be me. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Sorry, handsome. Might as well quit now. Speechless, huh? I get it. You're intimidated. Understandable. Wow. It's... it's amazing. Hmm. You're his little buddy, Jesse. You know anything about this partnership he's offering? Imagine everything you could create, everything you could do, with a prize like that. How can we even be certain he's telling the truth? <sighs> Just saw how chummy you two were. Come on, Luna. Enough of these losers. We've got treasure to find. Hey. Treasure sniffing llama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell your friends. <clears throat> hey now. Oh, that poor llama. What? Hey, that's cheating. Pretty sure the admin would frown on us using an advantage like Luna. Hmm. The admin said it's about seeing how far we can go, so I'm going. Let's go, Luna. Well, that is certainly a woman who knows what she wants. Are you kidding? She's nuts. Ah, well, no one knows better than me that the admin's traps and constructions mean business. You've got a point there, old friend. I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. Yes. And it's like the admin said. Not everyone here might be... Uh, up for the task. I mean no offense by it, just uh, stating facts. All in this together, all right? No one's getting left behind here. Ah, <sighs> fine. But if something happens to them, that's on you, not me. Come with me, Jack. Uh, let's try and scope this place out. I'm... I'm gonna go talk to them. Well, I have never been so offended. Not in my whole life. Yeah, that wasn't the coolest. W wasn't the coolest? Oh, no. Misfiling your acacia wood during material organization week isn't the coolest. That was... that was a stripe too far. 
But just because I'm not some sword-swinging meathead, they think they can just walk all over me. They, they think they, they look at me and my, well, my, my skinny little arms, and, and they think they know me. They think they know me? Well, they are wrong. Dead wrong! I mean, I have been an embarrassment sometimes, but it stops here. It ends today. And I... I guess I'm done. Sorry. I need you to remember that out there, the world is stuck in eternal night. And there are a lot of scared people back in Beacon Town who are counting on us. You're right. Uh, we were talking and decided that it would be best for everyone if Radar stays here with Lucas while we go get the clock. That's it, Luna, darling. She's got the clock sent! <laughs> Later, losers! We're wasting time! Wait! The admin built this whole place to eliminate people, right? Trick them? Sure, it looks like Luna found something, but that's... Just what the admin wants us to think. You saw the llama! Jesse, you're coming, right? We could really use a hand over here. I gotta go with them. Be safe, okay? If you're sure. Woohoo! I knew you'd make the smart choice. <laughs> 